Let's make an author's page for poetry. First, you have to write and post 10 poems, and when you do, you need to add the tag 10 poems to each of your discussion posts. You can go back and add this tag later, and you can start making your author's page before you have all of your poems posted on Youth Voices. For your author's page, you will also need the following assignments. It's fine to start by making your author's page before you have finished all of these separate assignments. You can add them later. Here's what you will need, though. 1. 10 poems posted on, your youth, on youth Voices with a tag, 10 poems. 2. A bio and an image, either of you or representing you. Three a mood board that represents the things that have inspired your poetry. Four, a critical essay in which you discuss your reactions to poems by other poets. Five, demo tracks or links to earlier drafts of your poems with discussions about why you made specific revisions and the intended impact of those revisions. Six, sample credits in which you analyze how poems that you have read, in or outside of class, have inspired or influenced the poetry you wrote for this author's page. And links and or descriptions of visual art that inspired the poetry presented on your author's page. Seven, a special thanks. An expression of gratitude to individuals and groups who inspired, motivated, or supported you in your writing process. Oh, and you need your name at the top and four nouns that describe who you are, what you love, what you are good at, your interests, your or passions. Let's start there. Once you're ready to create and to add items to your author's page for poetry, log in at Youth Voices, then go to your dashboard. Next, add a new page. Choose the backend editor. Where it asks for a title, type your first and last name. That's all, just your name. Then under page attributes, choose Poets on Youth Voices as your parent page. Now click the orange Add Template button. Under the My Templates tab, find the template Authors Page Poetry. Click Authors Page Poetry one time only and wait for a set of boxes to appear. Please be patient and click just once. If you click more than once, duplicates will be loaded. Scroll to the bottom of this edit page and find a box titled Theme General Settings. We're going to hide some things on your page. 1. Make top bar status hidden. 2. Check the next three boxes as well to hide the header, footer, and socket area. 3. Scroll back to the top of this Theme General Settings box and click the title section tab. Three things to do here. Hide the title, change the breadcrumb to visible, and hide information. The last thing you need to do is change the template to full width. Scroll back to the top and under page attributes find where it says default template and change it to full width. Great! You can go and update the page now.
Next, we are going to make edits to the different sections of this page that we looked at briefly above. First, let's edit the first custom heading. In the text box, replace first and last name with your name. You have other options here to change the font and color of the text and the color of the background. You can do this later. For now, just hit Save and move to the next row where you will see four more custom headings. Each of these custom headings should be replaced by a noun that describes who you are. Use a capital letter at the beginning of each noun, replacing the ones that are in each text box. At the end, you want to find four words that describe you. Save changes for each custom heading, then hit Update. Now let's go to the next row and edit the Clio Post Carousel. Under Carousel Content, click Build Query. The only thing you should change here is the author in the Authors box. Delete Rose, Rosa Marie Reyes's name and begin typing your Youth Voices username. It should pop up for you to select. Hit Save Changes then update again. You should see your posts appearing in the box now, at least the ones that you have added the tag 10 poems. In the next box over, edit the text box and add a headline that says that you are a student, what school you attend, and where it is. Save changes, then go and edit the text box below. Add your bio here and insert your image using the Add Media button. After your image is in place, click Align Left. Save Changes and Update. You're basically finished with setting up your Authors page. After you have finished creating a mood board, go to the mood board section of this page and replace the image that is there with your image. You can add text, images, or video in the remaining four boxes in the next two rows, and each box has instructions for what to do. Let your teacher and Paul Allison, A-L-L-I-S-O-N-P-R at gmail.com, know that you have published your author's page and will get it added to the Youth Voices Poets page. You can always edit your page by following these steps. Be sure that you are logged in, go to the home page and click on the dashboard. Then click Pages and All Pages and your author's page titled with your name will appear with an edit button. By the way, the URL for your page, the, the website address for your page, will be youthvoices.live forward slash first name dash last name.